Hey, it's Monkey Boy with Monkey View Films with uh, my second app review for my iPad 2. Um, yeah, it has pretty much the same thing to do with my first app review, which is about um, Flash on the on Apple products. And um, yeah, my first one, as if you didn't see it, was about a um, remote desktop thing. And uh, this one is actually a browser that has Flash built in. That it's really cool. Okay, so the app is called Photon. You can find it in the App Store for about five bucks, I think. And uh, it's pretty cool. It plays flash based games. If you like, if any, for any of you Farmville people. Flash video. It's remote browsing. Browse two sites at the same time. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, it's in the top 10. No. Top like 15. Oh, you know, this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Okay, so anyway, let's just get to the app. So basically, I got this last night, and so um, I haven't been toying with this yet. It's just, I'm just, I just know it's like we're going to be one of my favorite apps now. Oh yeah, there's real tabs too, at the very top you see. You just press that little plus over there. Okay, so basically, that's, I keep saying that a lot. Let's just go to the website that I know uses Flash and is one of my favorites. South Park Studios. By the way, uh, as copyright notices, I do not own South Park <laughs> or any of that. I'm just using it as an example. Okay, so right there, the little lightning bolt. That's what activates Flash. I've been doing this for 15 years. And when you dedicate your life to something, you expect something in return. Okay. Um, so yeah, it you have usually have to, you have to customize it. This is the return. Bandwidth, alternate port, that doesn't really matter. Pop up, game keyboard, there's all these font size I usually like to have it set to 3 it will refresh automatically and there's different types of, types of mouse mice I prefer this one I'm not going to see it show the whole episode just a little bit As you can see, it is pretty smooth. But there's a little quality thing. Favorite comedy actor, favorite comedy movie, and then on Friday during lunch and recess, we're gonna have a big. Oh, I guess full screen isn't available. Dude, an award show just for comedy sounds like a bad idea. Seven, do you have any idea how difficult comedy is? Can't we just spend one lunch and recess saying thanks to those who make us smile and laugh? Okay. Yeah, look, I don't think I can make it, Jimmy. Yeah, sorry, dude. I can't make it either. Well, customize colors rise right there in the settings. You can set it to any one you want. I'm just going to go blue for now. Choose. And there, it just sets it up right there. That's pretty awesome. Let's go for a good red. Nice. Okay, I found a game. Um, I've basically just looked up balloons because it's 
randomly the game that came to mind. So to play a game, I guess, to like hold down, you just switch to that little mouse and just like hold it, move, and there it'll like start holding. You just let go whenever you need to. It is surprisingly smooth. Level completes. Okay, now I'm going to go do the multiple browser thing. Okay, so to do that, you click the little plus thing up there and views there'll be tabs which is what you bait what you start out with it'll be full which is without the tabs they'll be split which are, there's two different browsers you click one and it'll click say active view I'll just show you right here active view and the browser will change their the uh, URL address bar yeah will change accordingly Apple apps first so you can do pretty much anything you need. Switch. Instantly went to Mac for some reason. Let's try out Trio. <laughs> now there's three. There's two app verses. Let's just try this out. I'll just type in Google. And I like this because um, this is cool. This is a really good feature. Very useful. They'll they'll say like one of the most famous, pretty famous websites, your your previous and um, like websites that are pretty close to that. See, there's Google now. And now here's Apple.com. And here's Apps First, the creators of this app, if you didn't know. Two more cool features of uh, Photon is um, there's this thing called um, Smart History. Yeah, I said that dramatically. Okay, so you just hold down the arrow. It'll show up your history recently. Recent history. Go back to what I had before. And I can go back with the front arrow. Also, disregard when I said two, there's this little icon up here when you touch. It'll get rid of that and it'll just be full screen browsing. Which is what every everybody loves full screen, and to bring it back, you just either press this arrow, which do that, or you could press this. Okay, and the last feature I'm going to show you is for this thing called private browsing. Touch on, and it says right here, your browsing data will be automatically cleared upon browser exit. Dismiss that, and so I'm going to go forward. Yes, I know. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Okay, I'm closed. Open up Photon. It's cleared. I didn't even have to clear it out of multitasking. It has no history at all. It is cleared. Okay, so um, that's pretty much all I'm going to show. Uh, so yeah, you can find this app for about five dollars on the app store it's also for iphone too so you can find it on there um, so for more ipad videos iphone anything i don't care awesomeness it, it, i would really appreciate if you subscribe because i really do try this channel okay thank you and goodbye